Ashurst and a textile artist, but I also work with paint, print and collage. Central to my practice as an artist is colour, and for several years I was a member of the International Colour Association, which researches its therapeutic effects and its beneficial effects on mental health. My early experiments with dyeing began when I was at teacher training college when I tried out Dylon hot water dyes on fabric offcuts and odd bits of lace from jumble sales. Later, when I was investigating the history of embroidery at the V&A and analysing some of the samples, I was inspired to experiment with vegetable dyes and this correlated well with my interest in plants especially wildflowers. A few years on, when I was studying at Goldsmiths College, I was introduced to acid dyes. And then, about the same time, I saw advertised in a French magazine called Santé Day, dyes made by Sennelier, suitable for painting directly onto silk. I discovered that silk was by far and away the best fabric for rapidly responding to dye and producing brilliant and translucent colours while at the same time being strong and lightweight. In this example I'm using the dyes undiluted for maximum brilliance. The dyes are then fixed by steaming for one hour in my old pressure cooker. And then, once washed, dried, ironed and hemmed by hand, the scarf is finished to wear. It's quite a long process. My wall hangings are also inspired by my colour studies of plants and gardens. I stitch strips of dyed silk and yarn onto rug canvas and this provides a grid not dissimilar to a 12-tone chromatic scale with its reference to contrast, harmony and rhythm. I hope you've enjoyed this brief glimpse into my practice and some of the gorgeous colours that I work with. Hope to see you at the show. Bye!